today's video we're looking at building a HF vertical antenna and we've got a few components there also 80 meters if we can with the help of a printed uh, coil there uh, the problem I had with the coil is the gap was too close together so I'm still experimenting with that we've got uh, some radials about four meters in length and all up we're doing about 20 radials uh, experience has shown that once you start to go over about uh, 20 radials you don't really get any further effectiveness but there's a sweet spot there between about 16 and 20 piece of pvc pipe which uh, has that uh, so239 halfway up and we've got the uh, 40 and the uh, 20 meter element at the top i used a piece of electrical elbow conduit just to spread the 20 meter element and then the element actually comes back down so it's a little bit linear loaded there's the 20 meter element there i went about constructing the uh, base literally just a piece of conduit with three guy wires nothing special and that uh, gave me a, a good uh, point to start to put the squid pole in now the squid pole is six and a half meters long uh, just a cheap one off eBay about uh, 20 30 dollars uh, you can get many different types of squid poles this one's just a, uh, a fiberglass one as carbon fiber ones and a whole lot of other ranges carbon fiber might actually change the uh, radiation because there's a little bit of uh, uh, conductive properties in carbon fiber so fiberglass is probably pretty good uh, just directing that top element there and uh, then putting the uh, the final touches on uh, erecting the full mast um, pretty stable just with three guys there just uh, about the uh, the top of that uh, white pipe there's the radials there as I'm connecting up the nano VNA and uh, got the radials out in all directions now on 20 meters there you can see the um, 51 ohms that's pretty good uh, 1.46 is uh is what i'm getting there directly connecting it straight in and uh that's that's pretty good that's not bad um for uh for that cut i'm not using the uh plate you can see in the background there which is for driving a tire over the uh the bottom um for uh, using in you know, like a car park so uh quite impressed by uh, the low SWR and the impedance is uh, roughly around about 50 ohms so it's what you really should expect from a dipole and uh, there you can see the uh, the top element there linear loaded coming back down the other side now I did experiment with 3d printing a uh, an 80 meter element uh, the problem I did find is that the gaps needed to be a little bit larger so um, probably need about five millimeters gaps between each of uh, the uh, coil elements there but it, it's an impressive piece of uh, material once I put the antenna wire on which is literally aluminium fence connected it up with a few automotive connectors and then it uh, had a bit of solder on the the center point there and then that connects to the uh, loose wire that does uh, will eventually connect up to an alligator clip uh, what I am going to do is is reduce the amount of turns so you can actually get an alligator clip in that's one of the the downsides is you can't actually get an alligator clip into that uh, tight space so looking at uh, the SWR 1.53 uh, is pretty good and that is with that coil in place that's on the 40 meter band um, I've had to uh, improvise there with the uh you can 
you can see I've tried to separate the loading of the 20 meter element there. And uh, not too bad, 1.53 SWR. And there we go on 7 megs. Uh, 1.54, 1.48. 1 now, I did try and uh, improve it a bit. And by actually tapping in the uh, the coil there, you can see it bouncing around, uh, going from 1.6 to uh, still under under one point or still under two, and that was literally just putting that wire into the coil, and taking the wire out gives that uh, that reading. So the coil is actually providing a little bit of uh, benefit on both uh, forty and twenty. But um, at the moment, no benefit on, on 80 metres, which is what the coil was designed for. And I, I, I suspect it's to, due to the uh, capacitance of that uh, coil uh, and, um, and the spacing, basically. So I'm going to experiment a bit more with that coil. But for what it does on uh, 40 and, uh, and 20, perfect. Uh, look at that, 1.09. Uh, can't get much better than that. That's, uh, that's not too bad. Um, and then let's have a look at the impedance, 54 ohms. Pretty happy with that. That's no tuner, literally straight off the antenna. So uh, quite happy with that to uh, start transmitting on. Thanks very much for joining us. And if you like this video, give us a like and a subscribe and we'll be doing some more antenna designs soon.